are Denisov in the language who are always were, are Denisov in the language is complex. We have many dialects when we come to the Turtle Island. The Denisov in the language lived on the coastal shores of the Turtle Island. We have over 20 dialects in the Nisotina language across the country. In Saskatchewan, we have the two dialects. My relatives that live in Black Lake, Fond du Lac, Stony, they speak the K dialect. I speak the T dialect. When I say water, it's not Orohyan, then that cool, don't you? Yeah, too. Yeah. And some of them will say cool. Some people, and I say too. Yeah. I'll tell you a little funny story about my grandma. <coughs> my, my grandma, uh, she doesn't speak any English. Blanket, you say tal, and material, you say you. So my grandmother is making a blanket for one of her grandkids, and she's just running out of material to make her blanket. So she goes to the, to the Hudson Bay Company, and there's this young little white boy that's just come to Patronac for just a few weeks. So my grandma goes to the store by herself because she didn't have anybody to interpret for her. So she's looking around, and up the aisles and she's looking and that little old, that little young man, he looks at her and he says, Mrs. Estalsane, how can I help you? My grandma looks at him and says, I think he must understand a little bit of Dene. So he, she looks at him and she says, I want you for tail. <laughs> 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 so our language is really, you know, complex, but when you translate it, it literally means something different, you know? When you say, bek eshech al table, when I literally translate it, it means something you eat off of. Yeah. Chair, dash chana, Something you put your butt on. <laughs> eh? You just describe it. The word T S A means cap or hat. T S A with a nasal sound. Song. Yeah, song. It means beaver. So you see that the word, you know, T S A, is short. Ah, you know, T S A with a nasal sound. Song. You just breathe it through your nose. <laughs> and T S A with a high tone is sa. It's long, huh? <coughs> so it means beaver. So you see our our language. It's not too complicated. It just feels, you know, it sounds funny sometimes. In our language, the seasons. Up north, yase, hai. That's how you say it too, on eh? Hai. Winter. Hai. Chuk eh? Kuchuk et and toya. Then the breaking up of ice. Not was it yan that no haya tea ah? That's so ah. See before spring we have like six seasons in Dene. And then look eh. And then uh sina summer. And then before spring. Summer, then I ask not at the day. Said, said, eat. 
there's another season that they are. Height Azi means fall. So we have like not the four seasons, but sometimes we can do the six seasons in Dene. Yeah. In, in Denisotine language, we have the Denisotine. In the middle, we say Nihotine, which means the creator. He created all of us. Ni, he created. And Chantie. And Nutayine, which. Uh, some of, everybody speaks the same language, even the Navajo people in the States. There's a legend, not huh? a long time ago, that um, two brothers uh, lived up here, but one of them went down to the Navajo reservation. And that's where now, you know, when they come to visit us, we understand what they're saying they do the different things differently a little bit. So these are the, the ways that we say our words. When we speak about a spirit in the nice clean language, everything has a spirit. <coughs> no Z, our physical self, and and uh, do the, you know, our emotional self, no he yeah, no die no means our. Just like in Cree when you say my sister, my you know, our brothers, you know. We say when I say my brother, I say so you know, so nare. But when I say that so nare is my older brother. And when I say my little brother said uh, chale, uh, we say. And if I say ene, which means my mother, you know. And then when I say your dad, you know, neta, you know. And our dad, nohota, you know, our father, yeah. So the, the word in Dene is not that complicated. The Dene Sotline language, Ye, Ya means spirit. Ye, Dari Ye, which means the creator. Ye, Ya. Ya, Kot Ina. Ya is the angel. Yeah. Kath. Yak yeah, means cloud. Yah ki means he or she is speaking. Uh, almost sounds almost the same, huh? Yak you know, yak eh. Heaven. So when we say the words in Dene, let's say like um, the, the colors, we say del thok, del zen, del kos, del gai. D-E-L means blood in Dene. So when you say del kos, del gai, del zen, del thok, is we're all related of the four nations. It doesn't matter what color you are. Just like in English, heart and head, when we say, you know, H-E-L-R-T, he, art, when we, when we literally, you know, head, H-E-N, head. 
the word he, that's like ya and ye. You see, like my sweetheart, not my sweet head. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> and so it's when we say that in in the, our language, we just say the one word. That's like I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying, Del Kai, Del Zen, Del Kot, Del. When I was teaching my little kindergarten class, you know, so I was teaching them all the colors so that my little five-year-old uh, little nephew, he goes home to his mom and dad at lunchtime and he says, his dad says, what did you learn today? And he says, oh, we learned about colors all in Dene. So his dad says, can you tell me the colors? He says, del, del, del zen, del kot, del kos, that guy, he says. <laughs> and so with that, that's not how you say, you know, white. You're not saying that properly. No, daddy, he said, that's the way Mrs. Reynolds taught us. It's that guy, not that guy, you know. <laughs> so you have to really pronounce your words of how you say, you know, uh, the words that you're teaching the children.